Well, talking about X-Men characters, we see Wolverine, Juggernaut, uh, also Brad Pitt. So some awesome yeah. surprise cameos. Talk to me. What did you think about those, Jim? Uh, well, I mean, I think it was it was nice to finally see the X-Men themselves show up in this movie. Yeah. Um, oh, yes. That and that was, was one of, uh, to me, that was one of the biggest laughs mm -hmm. and, and how they played it, too. Yeah. Where they were like, we just, we don't want to be involved with yeah. you. <laughs> and, and just acknowledging, like, the stuff that they talked about in the first movie paying off here, like, what, we can't afford any of the, the cash? or they don't the studio doesn't allow them in and then you just see in this movie they're like yeah oh god he's <laughs> yeah they just don't yeah. want anything to do with Deadpool so <laughs> yeah like, no. exactly that and that was, was so you know just a little uh, 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 tidbit here like they filmed that on the set um, of Dark Phoenix no way okay, different there director you go. all that so that was they got everyone back uh, the writers told me in, a, in an interview I did with them this week so it was great that they finally had some synergy there and was able or were able to acknowledge that yes indeed they're all the same universe but that's all, as far as we're going to go. Yeah and you, I uh, read the interview you did. You guys can see that on IGN.com by the way. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And then they were uh, talking about how they got Brad Pitt and it's like superhero movies are like the thing now so it wasn't like hard to get him. He was happy to do it. Yeah. And it was just that that he did was did it for a cup of coffee. Did it for a cup of scale. coffee. Wow. Did his did his agent get 10% of the cup of coffee? Uh, I don't think yeah, I don't think they <laughs> the, I, I don't think the agent was probably too happy that he worked on Deadpool for nothing, basically. Yeah. But I feel like a lot of people will be talking about that coming out of the movie because it was such a great gag of the whole Vanisher thing. One thing I didn't get was like, why did he never speak? Just because you're invisible doesn't mean you can't say anything. But I get it. It was you part of the probably gag. probably don't get paid scale if you speak. <laughs> yeah. That, I, right. I bet you there was a deal point there. It's just a practical thing, not as... Uh, you know, it, it would see, it was kind of silly for them to not have him speak, but I get why they did it because then it would have revealed it was Brad Pitt did much earlier. But anyways, I'm getting uh, lost in it. But no, it was it was super <laughs> funny to see him horribly die. And then it's yeah. like, oh hey, it's Brad Pitt. You know, it was it kind of I thought was funny about that, and and no one else really kind of caught it. Even the writers, I asked them, I'm like, oh, was that planned? All the interview with the vampire jokes that they were making about Kirsten Dunst yeah, and Tom yeah. Cruise. Well, Brad Pitt was in there, yeah, and they definitely. were like, "Oh, yeah, he was in that it movie." I thought it was. I thought he was in there just to pay off that that gag they had going about that movie. Oh, card down. Yeah. Grab that. Okay. okay. Um, so I thought Juggernaut was absolutely awesome. I did you guys see that coming? Because. You know, they were talking about the monster underneath the prison. I did not think it was him at all. I really didn't. And then when he came out, I was just like, oh my gosh. So what do you guys think of Juggernaut? Yeah, so we actually obviously read into these things too much. And we yeah. saw in the trailer that there's like, Colossus was punching like a dome. And we're yeah. like, that's got to be Juggernaut's yeah. helmet. And then the score leaked ahead of time that had the, like the opera singers saying like, holy crap, it's the Juggernaut. Yeah. Um, okay, there you go. <laughs> so yeah. we, kind of, we had it spoiled for us going in. But uh, it was awesome to see him fully realized as the Juggernaut, huge, done as CGI. Uh, Jim also found out that it was Ryan Reynolds who voiced Ryan him. Reynolds no the, way! And did a little bit of the, the facial mocap. Yeah. And so they, they rearranged his voice and everything. The, the writers were saying this. So that, that was a nice thing because he's credited as himself. Yeah. And, and so everyone was like, well, who's Juggernaut? Who's yeah. playing yeah. him? But it was awesome because obviously we didn't really get him as we wanted to see him in X3. But this this was the ideal version. Yeah. Of course, I know a lot of people love the Juggernaut so much, myself included, that they might not be 100% happy Then he went out the way <laughs> he, he did. He did. <laughs> that, ending, that was so funny. Oh, that my was, gosh. That was great. Also, if I'm being super picky from the comics, his whole thing is that he uh, once he starts building forward momentum, he cannot be stopped. And they were knocking him around and doing all this yeah. stuff, even when he was uh, producing for momentum and got knocked down. But it didn't matter because it was awesome to see him and Colossus go head to head. It was it was an awesome, just, it was just awesome seeing that fight realized uh, in on the big screen. And that this is also the fight, best yeah. Colossus has ever been in an X Men movie. Oh yeah, you know, like that was another thing I really liked was that they he actually has like an arc and he's not just like the background guy. And and yes, we saw him in the first uh, Deadpool movie and it was Russian there, but it was nice that they really like, I, I recognize that character more yeah. in, in this movie than I have in other Colossus appearances in the X-Men movies. I think that was actually one of my favorite scenes um, was Colossus and Juggernaut going at it, but also when <laughs> Deadpool is geeking out about Juggernaut, he's like, oh my gosh, I'm one of your biggest fans, because like, we've all been there, right? And he just like rips him in half. I was just like, oh, and Domino, she's like, just sees Juggernaut, and she's like, nope, like, I'm going to be absolutely <laughs> yeah. no part of this. But um, let's see, what what is going to be next with all of this? I mean, we're oh, talking Real about quick, the, sorry to cut you off. Yeah. Wolverine, we have to talk about oh, Wolverine. Oh, we got to talk about Wolverine. Yeah, yeah. so okay. you really like that one. I know, how did I forget to talk about that? Okay, so uh, 
obviously the end scenes, I think everyone's going to be talking about that. I mean, <laughs> Ryan yeah. Reynolds just like absolutely gunning down repeatedly like the old Deadpool and then Hugh Jackman. You know, we were yeah. thinking like, oh, people are going to be Googling this like crazy. Yeah, I mean, like the X-Men cameo, this was a payoff to something I think people were expecting in the first one and even right up into, you know, he, he joked about the Green Lantern stuff in the first one, but to see it pay off again here, like, he, that they were able to use that footage from X-Men Origins Wolverine to acknowledge um, in their own way, a, a way to retcon that out or just to flat out address it, like this version doesn't exist anymore mm -hmm. kind of thing. So I thought it was great and um, I'm glad that Hugh Jackman didn't come back for something new because um, with Logan and him dying, I, I don't want to see that cheapened, you know? Yeah. I, they can make jokes about that all they want, but like I don't want to see Jackman himself coming back and, and like denigrating all the, the 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 poignancy and the hard work you put into Logan, you know. Yeah, for that makes just sense. a sticky cameo. Joshua, what do you think? Yeah, I agree. I think a lot of us would love to see Logan yeah. and Deadpool share the screen, mm. a, like actually not using footage from an old movie. Um, but I feel like th this was a great way to kind of have it, while not again soiling or spoiling what happened with Logan, which was such a wonderful end cap uh, for that character. So it, it, it was great to see it. It was a great joke. Pretty much, it's so funny because Ryan Reynolds has had such a rocky journey to this point. Uh, to be to being Deadpool, which is just a universal hit, and he's getting like Golden Globe nominations, killing it at the box office. But if he didn't have these horrible failures to look back on, he wouldn't have any material for these awesome jokes. Okay. I also think it's funny too, like uh, you know they're they're poking fun at Wolverine dying. Like one of the first shots is like the music box of dead Wolverine. <laughs> yes, uh, oh, but gosh. that that they then go and kill Deadpool in this one is almost in a, for a, a very meta movie is almost another meta commentary. But of course. They undo all that, um, which was hilarious. But it, I, I thought, like, I appreciated that touch too. That they're they're trying to out Logan, Logan, like give him the big long drawn out <laughs> scene. And yep, not done yet. Yes. That was really funny. Yeah. The death scene.